I feel like I've I've gained a sense of. It sounds kind of weird, but I, I've definitely I feel like I've gained a better sense of like our country, and I've I've become a lot more proud of um, you know where I'm from, and and even you know where I'm from in America. Um, you know I'm I'm. I'm so much pride in like Ohio and, and the things that come from it and going to antique stores and flea markets and talking to the people um, that are been here and have been lived here for the last you know 75 years is something that um, I wouldn't have been able to do otherwise. My name is Samuel Sloma. I am the sole proprietor of Rust Belt Americana. I started making jewelry in 2009 and uh, you know, I've been doing it ever since. <laughs> Back in 2009, I, uh, I had a dream that I went to an antique store and bought a bunch of junk. And, uh, you know, the next day, I, it was a Friday or Saturday, I went to an antique store, bought a bunch of junk, and made some jewelry. I, I think that my favorite piece that I've made is the piece that I wear. Um, every day. Uh, it's, it's really simple. It's just two things that my father had or gave me a couple of months ago. Um, well, the, the one piece is a, a little mini pocket knife, which is no, it's about, about two and a half inches long, but uh, it was his father's and he gave it to me and uh, now it's you know on this chain and this little skull that I've used. Um, I, I, I had a bracelet that my Dad got for me uh, in Daytona Beach in the 90s, I remember. But as far as all the other ones go, I like them all. I love them all just the same. I feel, you know, I got pride in my work. I sell um, online on Etsy.com. And um, it's also a website called Copious, which is uh, was introduced to me by a OU alumni. Also, I get emails from people that want to um, me to do custom work for them, and I'll, I'll, I never turn that down because I uh, I enjoy the conversation. And more of this, that chain. I want to be able to continue to do this, but I never want to lose the genuine aspect of my pieces. You know, everything I make has a story. Uh, it's all from somewhere, and it's all 100% genuine vintage. Uh, you know, so the day that I, I get too busy to be able to use and find pieces on my own um, is the day that it's gotten too big. But I, you know, it's hard to see that far into the future. So for now, I'm just going to keep antique hunting and going to the estate sales and everything like that. And, you know, I'm a searcher. I make my own. I don't know. It's been a pretty radical time.